some guy. What's going on? <laughs> Rumor Report, Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report Talk to him. with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Man, I love a great story like this. Congratulations to Simone Biles. She became the first female gymnast to win five all-around titles at the 2018 U.S. Gymnastics Championships. Drop on the cruise bombs for Simone Biles, one of my daughter's idols. She took a 14-month break from training after the 2016 Olympics. She just started competing three weeks ago. She said, I've been back for only nine months. I'm so proud of myself. She also wore teal, and that teal leotard represents the color of sexual assault awareness. She wore that to honor the victims of former U.S. gymnastics doctor Larry Nassar, who was sentenced to life in prison for sexual assault. So congratulations to Simone Biles for that landmark achievement. Smooth to Simone Biles. My daughter is uh, in the gymnastics and all that good stuff, so she absolutely idolizes Simone Does Biles. Does she compete yet, your daughter? Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Now, she said, I knew I was capable of scoring this well, but I kind of thought I was going to be a nervous wreck and maybe fall apart. Going into these events, I know I kept telling my family, like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to calm myself down the way I did before and handle the nerves, but so far, so good. All right, congratulations to Young Thug. He has partnered up with Bel Air. He announced that partnership. He said, I've been friends with Brett Barish for a while. He's the CEO of Sovereign Brands for Bel Air. He said, we've been talking about doing something together for a couple of years, and then we finally linked up. So he, su- he also shouted them out for supporting the hip-hop culture since Rick Ross became their first rap ambassador back in 2015. And what pink, bubbly, sparkly champagne will he be promoting? Uh, I'm sure it's going to be delicious. You'll taste it, right? Mm. All right, now let's talk about... Oh, yeah. Whoa, oh, my God. Whoa. I, I don't even whoa. know how I walked right into that stupid one right there. That whoa. was just like the door. I saw whoa, that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like I saw it and still, boom, forehead hit it. <laughs> What's your forehead hit? Okay. Whoa. <laughs> you okay. kinky this morning, bro. All right, guys. Okay, guys and gals, calm down. <laughs> they call that a turkey slap, just so you know. Okay. Everybody relax. <laughs> yeah. Right. Look it up. It's not even Thanksgiving. You know what a turkey slap is? No. Okay, Google it. No, thank you. All right, now <laughs> let's talk about <laughs> Asia Argento. She is one of the first people to speak out against Harvey Weinstein and the Me Too movement, one of the first alleged victims to come forward. Well, now she has something against her. She actually paid $380,000 for a photo of her snuggling with then 17-year-old Jimmy Bennett on a bed shirtless with their foreheads pressed together. Now, he did play her son in a movie prior to that. He was only 17 and the age of consent in California where that picture was is 18 years old. So she had to pay him $380,000 for it. Now, TMZ did see the picture. And the only reason there was no NDA is because in California, confidentiality agreements are not enforceable when they involve allegations of child sex acts. So she has not been reachable since this whole entire story broke, but they do have documents and everything to support that this payment was made. Well, the, the hypocrisy is high on this one because I saw Rose McGowan tweet out, none of us know the truth of the situation, and I'm sure more will be revealed. Be gentle. Guys don't get that kind of luxury when accusations happen. Not at all. Not even a little bit. Mm. No, I don't know about that because sometimes people don't believe women depending on who it is. There was a lot of with Bill Cosby with all those accusers. People still didn't believe that he did anything. So I wouldn't say that they don't get that. Well, Rose McGowan, it's hard uh, all around for Rose everybody. Rose McGowan once tweeted that uh, it's quite simple. All who have worked with known predators should do three simple things. Believe survivors, apologize for putting your careers in wallets before what was right, grab a spine and denounce. If you do not do those things, you are still moral cowards. What she tweeted about um, that young lady right there was a far cry from that original tweet. Right. No, definitely. She certainly should be treated the same way that everybody else who is a predator is treated. Okay. Now let's discuss the MTV Video Music Award winners because we didn't even get into that so much. Video of the year went of the year went to Camila Cabello and Young Thug Havana. Artist of the year went to Camila Cabello also. Song of the year went to Post Malone and Twenty One Savage for Rockstar. Also, Best New Artist, that was Cardi B. Best Collab went to Jennifer Lopez, featuring DJ Khaled and Cardi B with De Niro. Best Pop went to Ariana Grande, No Tears Left to Cry. Best Hip Hop, Nicki Minaj with Chun Lee. And for Best Video with a Message, that was Childish Gambino. This is America. And the Cardis did win for Ape Ish for Best Cinematography. Uh, and for Best Art Direction. Now, are all these awards voted on? Because I see everybody telling me that the reason Nicki won Best Hip Hop because it was voted on. That's how I was and, asking and you. I said, how did they determine these awards? Because it was two awards that I definitely feel like they gave to people just because they were in, atten- in attendance. And that was the Best Hip Hop Award and Best Collaboration. Because J-Lo 
and Cardi and Khaled was not a, a better collaboration than Jay Z and Beyonce. It does say that MTV no, no, no. VMAs are determined by fans and mysterious strangers. Oh, mysterious strangers. <laughs> well, that was years ago. That was a few years ago. Is, it, oh. is, that, is that the same way now? I don't know. I have no idea how they determine who wins. Listen, I just feel like I don't even know. I would MTV do the same for, thing though. I don't know that? MTV for music anyway. If you come to the award show and you perform, I would award you. That, that's whack though. And yeah, but you know what? I can't have a whole night of such and such couldn't be here tonight because mm-hmm. they didn't. No, no, no. That's whack. That's whack. When the, the people don't show up to the award show. I think sometimes they give you a heads up if you're gonna win. So. Sometimes it might be that they ask you to perform because they already know you're going to win. Mm. So they're like, all right, just so you know, you are about to win this award. So it'd be great. If, that's an extra incentive to come perform, certainly. That's true. True. All right, I'm Angela Yee, and that's your rumor report.